The Lost Words, A Spellbook by Robert McFarlane, illustrations by Jackie Morris. Once upon a time, words began to vanish from the language of children. They disappeared so quietly that at first almost no one noticed, fading away like water on stone. The words were those that children used to name the natural world around them. Acorn, adder, bluebell, bramble, conquer, gone, fern, heather, kingfisher, otter, raven, willow, wren, all of them gone. The words were becoming lost, no longer vivid in children's voices, no longer alive in their stories. You hold in your hands a spell but for conjuring back these lost words. To read it, you will need to seek, find, and speak. It deals in things that are missing and things that are hidden, in absences and in appearances. It is told in gold, the gold of the goldfinches that flit through its pages in charms. And it holds not poems, but spells of many kinds, that might just, by the old, strong magic of being spoken aloud, unfold dreams and songs, and summon lost words back into the mouth and the mind's eye. Acorn. As flake is to blizzard, as curve is to sphere, as knot is to net, as one is to many, as coin is to money, as bird is to flock, as rock is to mountain, as drop is to fountain, as spring is to river, as glint is to glitter, as near is to far, as wind is to weather, as feather is to flight, as light is to star, as kindness is to good, so acorn is to wood. Adder, a hank of rope in the late hot sun, a curl of bark, a six, an eight, for adder is as adder basks. Deep in heather, coiled in goise, sunk among the winter stones, for adder is as adder hides. Darts, diamond slides, sin wave swerves, live wire curves of force, for adder is as adder glides. Echo of snake, self escape, a left behind ghost for adder is as adder sheds. Rustle of grass, sudden susurrus, what the eye misses, for adder is as adder hisses. Bluebell, blue flowers by the blue hour, late day light in a bluebell wood, under branch, below leaf, billows blue so deep, sea deep, each step is taken in an ocean, Blue flows at the blue hour, color is current, undertow. Enter the wood with care, my love, lest you are pulled down by the hue. Lost in the depths, drowned in blue. Bramble. Bramble is on the march again, rolling and arcing along the hedges into parks on the city edges. All streets are suddenly thick with briar, Carl snarled fast, business, business over. Moths have come in their millions, drawn to the thorns. The air flutters. Bramble has reached each house now, looped it in wire. People lock doors, close shutters. Little shoots steal through keyholes to leave, in quiet halls, empty stairwells, bowls of bright blackberries where the light falls. Conquer. Cabinet maker, could you craft me a conquer? Oil its wood, burnish its veneer, set it glowing from within. Never, not a chance, no hope at all. King, then could you command me a conquer? Compel its green spikes to grow, its white plush to thicken. Impossible, impractical, inconceivable. Engineer, surely you could design me a conquer, refine its form, mill its curves and edges, manufacture me that magic casket, Unfeasible, unworkable, unimaginable. Realize this, said the cabinet maker, the king, and the engineer together. Conquer cannot be made however you ask it. Whatever word or tool you use, regardless of decree, only one thing can conjure conquer, and that thing is tree. Dandelion. Dazzle me little son of the grass, and spin me, tiny time machine, tick-tock, sun-clock, thistle and dock. 
now no longer known as Dont de Leon, Lion's Tooth, or Windblow, Tick-Tock, Sun Clock, Nettle and Dock, Evening Glow, Milk Witch, or Parachute, so let new names take and root, thrive and grow, Tick-Tock, Sun Clock, Rattle and Dock. I would make you some, such as Bane of Long Perfectionists, or Fallen Star of the Football Pitch, or Scatter Seed, but never would I call you only, merely, simply, Weed, Tick-Tock, Sun Clock, Clover and Dock. Fern. Fern's first form is furled. Each frond, fast as a fiddlehead. Reach, roll, and unfold follows. Fern flares. Now fern is fully fanned. Heather. Heather is never only heather, as more is never merely more. Ever lain down in heather, got its measure, seen how it shares its weather with aphrodel and bilberry, crowberry, and cotton grass? Grows together with tormentos flower, moss's cushion, lichen's feather. Hold a heart full of heather, never let it wither, even as you travel far from crag and river. Remember heather, the company it keeps, its treasure. Here hunts heron, here haunts heron, huge hinged heron, gray winged weapon, eat from iron and reeked from blue and beaked with steel, heron, statue, seeks eel. Rock still at weir sill, stone still at weir sill, dead still at weir sill, still, still at weir sill, until eeless at weir sill, heron magically, unstatues. Out of the water creaks long legs heron, old priest heron, from here on in all sticks and planks and rubber bands, all clanks and clicks and rusty squeaks. Now Heron hauls himself into flight, early aviator, heavy freighter, and with steady wing beats, boosts his way through evening light to roost. Ivy. I am Ivy, a real high flyer. Via bark and stone, I scale tree and spire. You can call me ground cover. I say skywire. Kingfisher. Kingfisher, the color giver, fire bringer, flame flicker, rivers quiver, ink black bill, orange throat, and a quick blue back gleaming feather stream. Neat and still, it sits on the snag of a stick un until with gold flare, wing fan, whip crack the kingfisher, zingfisher, singfisher. Flashes down too fast to follow, quick and quicker carves its hollow. In the water, slings its arrows super swift to swallow, stickleback or shrimp or minnow. Halcyon is its other name, also rip, ripple calmer, water nester. Evening angler, weather teller, rain bringer, and rainbow bird. That sets the stream alight with burn and glitter. Lark, little astronaut, where have you gone? And how is your song still torrenting on? Aren't you short of breath as you climb higher, up there in the thin air, with your magical song still tumbling on? Right now I need you, for my sadness has come again and my heart grows flatter. So I'm coming to find you by following your song, keeping on into deep space, past dying stars and exploding suns, to where at last, little astronaut, you sing your heart out at all dark matter. Magpie Magpie manifesto, argue every toss, gossip, bicker, yak and snicker all day long, pick a fight in an empty room, interrupt, interject, intercept, intervene, every magpie for every magpie against, every other walking, flying, swimming, creeping creature on the earth, except for eagles, for they are too scary. Newt, Newt, oh Newt. You are too cute, emoted the coot with a too cute newt. With your frilly back and your shiny suit, and your spotted skin so on her suit. Too cute, roared the newt to the unastute coot. With all this careless talk of cute, you bring me into disrepute. For newts aren't cute. We're kings of the pond, lions of the duckweed, dragons of the water. Albeit, it's true, he paused. 
minute. Otter. Otter enters river without falter. What a supple slider out of halt and into water. The shapeshifter's a sheer breath taker, a sure heart stopper. But you only ever spot a, sh a shadow flutter, bubble skin, and never, almost never, actual otter. This swift swimmer's a silver miner. With trout its oar, it bores each black pool deep and deeper, delves up current steep and steeper, turns the water inside out, then inside outer. Ever dreamed of being otter? That's utter underwater thunderbolter. That shimmering twister? Run to the riverbank, otter dreamer. Slip your skin and change your matter. Pour your outer being into otter and enter now as otter without falter into water. Raven. Rock rasps, what are you? I am Raven of the blue black jacket and the boxer swagger, stronger and older than peak and then bolder, raps Raven in reply. Air asks, what are you? I am Raven, prince of play, king of guile, grim on face base jumper, twice as agile as the wind, thrice as fast as any gale, raps Raven in reply. Vixen ventures, what are you? I am Raven, solver of problems, picker of locks, who can often outsmart, stout, and always outthink fox, scoffs Raven in reply. Earth inquires, what are you? I am Raven. I have followed men from forest edge to city scarp. Black shadow, dark familiar, hexes Raven in reply. Nothing knows what you are. Not true, for I am Raven, who nothing cannot know. I steal eggs the better to grow. I eat eyes the better to see. I pluck wings the better to fly, riddles Raven in reply. Starling. Should green as moss be mixed with blue of steel, be mixed with gleam of gold, you still fall short, by far, of the tar-bright oil-slick sheen and gloss of starling wing. And if you sampled sneaker squeaks and car alarms and phone ringtones, you'd still come nowhere near the rooftop rip-rap, street-smart hip-hop of starling song. Let shade clasp, coal clasp, pitch clasp, storm clasp, which they'd still be pale beside, in the dead of night black, cave black, head cocked, fight black, gleaming of starling eye. Northern lights teaching shoaling fish, teaching swarming flies, teaching clouding ink, would never learn the ghostly swirling, surging, whirling, melting murmuration of sterling flock. Weasel. Weasel whirls through the world like wildfire, ember spin, smoke curls for weasel, axe on land like spark on tinder, Scorches grass, turns field to pyre, sand to glass, tree to cinder. Eats air, burns shadow, lights the sky, hot wires the sun with its speed, its dance, its gyres. Willow. Willow, when the wind blows so your branches billow, oh, will you whisper while we listen so we learn what words your long leaves loosen? If you whisper when the wind blows, so your branches billow, Willow, we will listen for a day, a week, a year, till we know what Willows say, what Willows speak. Lean in, listeners. Come below our leaves and wait until the wind blows so our branches billow. Listen for a year, a week, a day. But you will never hear what Willows speak, what Willows say. Long you linger, listeners. Hard you press your ears against our bark. But you will never sense our sap. And you will never speak in leaves or put down roots into the rot, for we are willow, and you are not. Oh, open up your heartwood to us, will you, willow? Show us your deep within, your rough without, your water brushing bough, your shoot, your grain, your knot. We will never whisper to you, listeners, nor speak nor shout, and even if you learn to utter adler, elder, poplar, aspen, you will never know a word of willow. For we are willow, and you are not. Wren. When Wren whirls from stone to furs, the world around her slows. For Wren is quick, so quick she blurs the air through which she flows. Yes, rapid Wren is needle, rapid Wren is pin. And Wren's song is sharp song, briar song, thorn song, and Wren's flight is dart flight, 
Flick flight, light flight, yes. Each red etches, stitches, switches, glitches, yes. Now you think you see red. Now you know you don't.